Devarim, Deuteronomy 2. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as Yahuwah spoke unto me. And we compassed at Mount Seir many days. And Yahuwah spoke unto me, saying, Ye have compassed at this mountain long enough. Turn you northward, and command at the people, saying, Ye are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourselves, therefore. Meddle not with them, for I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a foot breath, because I have given at Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. Ye shall buy meat of them for money, that ye may eat, and ye shall also buy water of them for money, that ye may drink. For Yahuwah Eloheka has blessed you in all the works of your hand. He knows that you're walking through this great wilderness. These 40 years, Yahuwah Eloheka has been with you. You have lacked nothing. And when we passed by from our brethren, the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, through the way of the plain from Elath, and from Etzan, Gever, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And Yahuwah said unto me, Distress not at the Moavim, neither contend with them in battle. For I will not give you of their land for a possession, because I have given at Ar, rather Ar, unto the children of Lot for a possession. The Aimim dwelt therein in times past, a people great and many and tall as the Anakim, which also were accounted Raphaim as the Anakim. But the Moavim call them Aimim. The Korim also dwelt in Seir before time. But the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their stead, as Yasharael did unto the land of his possession, which Yahuwah gave unto them. Now, rise up, said I, get you over at the brook Zered. And we went over at the brook Zered, and the space in which we came from Kadesh Barnea, until we were come over at the brook Zered, was thirty and eight years, until all the generation of the men of war were wasted out from among the host, as Yahuwah swore unto them. For indeed, the hand of Yahuwah was against them, to destroy them from among the host, until they were consumed. So it came to pass, when all the men of war were consumed and dead from among the people, that Yahuwah spoke unto me, saying, You are to pass over through at Ar, at the coast of Moab, this day. And when you come nigh over against the children of Ammon, distress them not, nor meddle with them. For I will not give you of the land of the children of Ammon any possession, because I have given it unto the children of Lot for a possession. That also was accounted the land of Rephaim. Rephaim dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonim called them Zamzumim. 
a people great and many and tall as the Anakim. But Yahuwah destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead, as he did to the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed at the Korim from before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead even unto this day. And the Avim, which dwelt in Chetzarim, even unto Gaza, the Kaftarim, which came forth out of Kaftor, destroyed them and dwelt in their stead. Rise ye up, take your journey, and pass over at the river Arnon. Behold, I have given into your hand at Sekhon, the Emori, king of Chesbon, and at his land. Begin to possess it, and contend with him in battle. This day will I begin to put the dread of you and the fear of you upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, who shall hear report of you and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you. And I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kidamoth unto Sechon, king of Chesbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land, I will go along by the highway. I will neither turn unto the right hand nor to the left. You shall sell me meat for money that I may eat and give me water for money that I may drink. Only I will pass through on my feet. As the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and the Moavim, which dwell in Ar, did unto me, until I shall pass over at the Yardin into the land which Yahuwah Eloheinu gives us. But Sihon, king of Chesban, would not let us pass by him, for Yahuwah Eloheka hardened at his Ruach and made at his heart obstinate that he might deliver him into your hand, as appears this day. And Yahuwah said unto me, Behold, I have begun to give at Sichon and at his land before you. Begin to possess that you may inherit at his land. Then Sichon came out against us, he and all his people, to fight at Yahatz. And Yahuwah, Eloheinu, delivered him before us. And we smote him, and at his sons, and at all his people. And we took at all his cities at that time, and utterly destroyed the men, and the women, and the little ones, at of every city. We left none to remain, only the cattle we took for a prey unto ourselves, and the spoil of the cities which we took. From e Aror, rather, from Aror, which is by the brink of the river Arnon, and from the city that is by the river, even unto Gilad, there was not one city at too strong for us. Yahuwah, Eloheinu, delivered all unto us, only unto the land of the children of Ammon you came not, nor unto any place of the river Yabak, nor unto the cities in the mountains, nor unto whatsoever Yahuwah Eloheinu forbade us.